Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at the 10 hardest Cuphead bosses. <laughs> Cuphead is known to be an incredibly difficult game, and what else would you expect from a game inspired by the likes of Contra? Whether you can no damage run these baddies or have fallen from them again and again and again and again, much like myself, these are the ones most players have had trouble facing. Have you beaten any of these bosses? Any of them make you rage quit? Share with us in the comments below. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Ribby and Croaks <laughs> These two bosses are arguably the hardest of the Inkwell Isle bosses as you're fighting two enemies at the same time. Thankfully they share a single health bar, so there's that. Most will find the first phase easy and we have to agree. All you have to do is avoid the Hadoukens and parry on occasion. But when Croaks hops to the other side of the screen, it gets overwhelming. <sighs> You got two big frogs firing off from both sides of the screen, with one pushing you into the other. However, the street fighting amphibians crank up the difficulty in their third phase, where they morph into a giant slot machine. At this point, you'll have to play their sick game and parry the crank as you anticipate what kind of attack they're dishing out next. Jimmy the Great. Of all the bosses that force us into airplane controls, Jimmy the Great is the one that is the most headache inducing. Wally Warbles has given folks problems too, but at least the bird only has three phases like most of Cuphead's boss fights. Jimmy, on the other hand, has five phases, plus a secret phase you can access under certain conditions before phase four. <laughs> Because of the chaos throughout the fight, it can feel like these five phases make the boss fight last an eternity compared to the length of the others. This will most likely add on to the stress inflicted by his guessing game style attacks. Seriously, we'd shatter that damn chest of his if we could. <laughs> Beppy the Clown. Beppy is a frightening boss, and we aren't just saying that because he's a creepy clown, though he does put on a maniacal and disturbing appearance. No, Beppy is frightening in how he harasses you throughout the fight. There are no funnel cakes or fried Twinkies or carnival rides here, only death. <laughs> Lasting four phases, he'll try to mow you down with bumper cars, carousel horses, roller coasters, and worst of all, deadly balloons of death. It all leads up to Beppy transforming into a chair swing of nightmares where he sends baseball fanatic penguins after you. If you've managed to no damage run this clown, well, mad props to you, really. I gotta commend you for that. The Phantom Express. Speaking of nightmares, the Phantom Express might chill you to the bone with its ghostly appearance. Much like the group of garden fools known as the Root Pack, the Phantom Express features a group of mini-bosses, each with their own bag of tricks, to trip you up. The Blind Spectre is a pain with its bouncing eyeballs while the Conductor will try to stop you in your tracks by crushing you with his bony palms. The Lollipop Ghouls, uh, they may not give you too many problems, but once you reach the train itself, things get cumbersome. <laughs> The only way to defeat the train is by attacking the core, which is protected by a grate that can only be opened with a parry to the tail. You'll only have a short amount of time to attack before it closes and you'll have to repeat the steps again, all while avoiding projectiles, which can only be done properly when moving the handrail car, which can only be moved by parrying the ends of it. There's so many steps and so much you have to worry about that it makes the Phantom Express be a test of endurance. <laughs> Calamaria. Maria. 
So, we can all agree that Calla Maria, I mean, she's... She's a total babe, right? Like, I mean, look at those thick mermaid hips! Mm! Well, the cute and sexy appearance doesn't last too long. This isn't a mermaid we're dealing with, this is a gorgon. And she's packed with all kinds of dirty tricks. Not that level of dirty either, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Kala doesn't give you a lot of room to breathe during her second and third phases. Her attacks will congest the screen with bullets and rays that will turn you to stone. She will try her damn hardest to overwhelm you, and whereas Jimmy has a phase where a portion of the screen has a safe space, Kala Maria just doesn't. <laughs> King Dice. He's Mr. King Dice. He's the gamest in the land. He never plays nice. He's the devil's right hand man. He can't let us pass, cause he's an absolute pain. We won't bring those contracts since he keeps killing us over and over and over again. Oh my god, that's- i sorry I took so long with that song. Admittedly, it's not King Dice himself that's the biggest challenge of his fight. It's his game. Before facing the king himself, he'll put you through a gauntlet of boss fights from the Tipsy Troop and Hoppus Pocus to Mr. Wheezy and Chip's bed again. <laughs> While some spaces will bump up your health by one, which makes the whole thing a little bit easier, the hard part about this is doing all of these fights under that one health bar. You don't recover HP after fights unless you hit a space with a heart on it, and lord have mercy on your soul if you somehow manage to screw up the very last roll that'll get you to the end space, and you somehow land on start over. God help you. <laughs> The Devil. Of course, the final boss has got to be on a list like this, but we wouldn't exactly say the Devil himself is the hardest boss in the game, but he definitely deserves to be on here. The Devil basically takes you through a literal bullet hell kind of a fight, littering the screen with more and more projectiles as the fight progresses. The second and third phases will most likely trip you up, as you'll have to watch for falling flaming chip tokens while the Devil and his cronies continue their assault. Doesn't help that you lose platforms as the fight progresses, so watch your footing and watch where you're jumping. Rumor Honey Bottoms. If there's one thing platforming fans can't stand, and I'm speaking from personal experience here too, it's auto scrolling levels. Imagine the rage and resentment that festered inside of us after playing Honeycomb Herald. Players will have to keep up with falling platforms while the security bee and eventually Rumor Honeybottoms herself launch their attacks. She also spends quite a bit of time off screen after casting her spells, which only extends the length of the fight. We're just glad that the Rising Honey is absent from the third phase, otherwise we may never have seen Cuphead all the way through to the end. <laughs> Grim Matchstick <laughs> Grim Matchstick has been known to be the most notorious of the bosses, save for one other section of the game, and given how the boss is based on the Mecha Dragon from Mega Man 2, we honestly weren't expecting it to be a cakewalk to begin with. Just like his inspiration, Grim Matchstick doesn't give you much room to avoid his attacks between the few cloudy platforms and oversized fireballs. And just like Honeybottoms, his fight is an auto-scroller! Hooray! Two of them! In one game! I'm so... joyed! It's a symphony of torment for even veteran players, but somehow, he's just not as bad compared to our final entry. Yay! 
the tutorial. The tutorial is perhaps the most nightmarish, worst level ever. No, 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 I can't. E even when I'm making a bad joke, I can't do this with a straight face. No, we here at Mojo Plays, we play video games. So this was really no problem for us. We beat this in like 15 seconds. Come on, it's a tutorial. Now here's our final entry, it's Dr. Call's Robot. Again, we have a boss fight heavily inspired by a Mega Man character. You know how Dr. Wily was intentionally made to be insanely difficult in Mega Man 7? Well, Dr. Call and his robot are pretty much that same level of absolute nonsense. For starters, the first phase sees you attacking the robot in three segments, and as those segments are destroyed, new attacks are employed. The second phase is a bit calmer as the robot only sends homing missiles at you, so there's a little bit more room to manage and shift your focus around. However, the third and final phase reveals the Mad Doctor himself, and he'll unleash waves and waves of projectiles at you with his knockoff Chaos Emeralds, while electrified barriers emerge from the top and bottom of the screen. He is Harassment Incarnate, and he is by far the hardest Cuphead boss. God save us if the delicious last course resurrects him or introduces a similar boss. And if he really is like Dr. Wily, you know he's coming back at some point. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.